Hi, I'm Mary Kokel, and I've been a photographer in Somerville for a long time now. I've lived here since 1988, so that's about 33 years of living in and photographing and observing Somerville. And this picture that I'd like to show you today is from where I currently live. It's a roof deck, and this was an interesting time. It was the 4th of July back in, I think, 2006, and I had heard a few illegal fireworks going off uh, in the background, and so I thought, I wonder if they'll do another one. So I got my camera and tripod ready, and I walked out onto the deck, and sure enough, um, they fired off one, and it was a little off, and so I thought, maybe they'll do another one. So I moved the camera just right, and then um, this fun shot happened. And what I like about Somerville for all these years, I look for the charm in it. I just love the way it's um, full of a lot of wooden houses. Now things are a little different. You have a lot of new buildings going up. But back in the 80s and 90s, it was all triple deckers. And I was very inspired by that type of architecture. And one of my favorite times to work is actually at twilight. I love what happens. Um, with the lighting, with the ambient lighting, with uh, the lights when they come up in the houses, on the street lights and things like that. I feel that that looks like a very interesting time to me. So I've been covering that for many years. And um, another big inspiration about Somerville is the gardening. It's always been a uh, wonderful place for a garden. Um, I'm part of the Somerville Garden Club. Back in the 90s, there was this awesome project launched by the the uh, Somerville Arts Council, and that was the Somerville Garden Awards, and that was a very inspiring time for me um, because I was not yet quite a gardener, but I saw what people were doing with their very tiny little yards and the plants and all that, so um, that was a, a really inspiring time. And uh, getting back to my roof deck, um, you'll see another photo of the roof deck after a big snowstorm. And things have changed since then. A lot of the big trees um, in the photo have been wiped away, unfortunately. Now it's kind of a little more barren. Um, for instance, this tree is now gone. Um, things change. It's hard for an urban tree to live in Somerville, uh, but we do try. I'm also very inspired by weather in Somerville. Um, I actually hate winter, but whenever there's a snowstorm, I find it irresistible to walk out in the cold with my tripod and my camera and take pictures of um, the snow. And actually, I was out the other day when we had all those wonderful spring blooms and suddenly a snowstorm. Um, I find that very fascinating, this um, change in the weather, uh, this very ephemeral look, like it's just there for an instant, kind of like the twilight. Is only there for an instant, but it actually happens every day. People tell me, um, oh, it looks so uh, magical, or like, when did this happen? It's like, twilight actually happens every day. That's the secret. You just got to be looking for it. Uh, I know today a lot of people are just on their phones all the time. Although now after the pandemic, I think what's very interesting is that people are out and about in nature and observing things, and I think that's a pretty cool thing. So I hope you folks will stop by and see some of my work at the Brick Bottom Gallery in December. And better yet, I hope you will look at Somerville a little bit differently. Maybe walk around with a camera at twilight and see what 